Lesson 7. Stay organized by creating and using icon collections. The last feature I would like to speak about is probably the most powerful on flaticon.com. I'm talking about the possibility to save your icons into collections in order to stay organized and easily share your icons with your colleagues and customers. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get the best out of the flat icon collections. Let's start with creating our first collection. Let's say you want to create a new website about a school you are opening for the children of your employees. To do that, you need to find different icons related to education and you want them to be consistent with your brand identity. So the first thing you'll need is to have your brand's color palette handy. I will use this color palette we have recently developed for one of our clients for the purpose of this example. So now we need to find some icons about education. There are two ways to do that. We can either search for individual icons or we can search for a pack related to education. I think we will go for the second option. It will make our life easier. So I type in education and I will use the pack filter in the search bar. Okay, so I really like this pack, but I see that it only has 10 icons in it and we need more than that. Well, this is where collections come very handy. Let's open this first pack that has only 10 icons and see which one we like. I think I want to use all of these except this backpack that I don't really like. I don't like it because it doesn't really look like a backpack, so that could create confusion. So what I will do is to add all the other icons to a collection. To do that, I can simply hover over the icons and click on the plus button to add them to my collection. And I will do that with the nine icons I like from this pack. Okay, so now you see that this four square icon here has a number nine in it. If you click on it, you will access your collection. All right, I can find my nine icons here now. There's a bunch of different things we can do from here, like rename that collection to education, for example. To do that is rather simple. Just hover over the My Icons Collection sentence and that will reveal a button with a pen icon. Click on that pen to rename your collection. Let's search for some more icons about education to add to this collection. I will now do a search for individual icons instead of packs. I want to stay consistent with the style of icon I use, so having my collection open here on the right makes it easy for me to find new icons that have the same look and feel. To refine my search result, I can use the color filter and set it to multicolor to get rid of all the unicolor icons in my results. There you go. So I like this icon and I think it is consistent with the other ones. And this one as well. Okay, and that's enough for now. I think you got the point that you can add more icons to your collection until you feel satisfied. Let's now have a look at how we can customize these icons to match the color palette of our company. And this is where the magic really happens. To do this, click on the I button for any of the icons in your collection. That will open a new window and click on the Edit Icon button. Now you can select any of the colors of this icon and replace it with the colors from your brand. Let me show you how to do that. Select a color here and if you hover over that color, it's actually going to show you which part of the icon it affects. Once you have selected the color, go to your brand color palette and copy the hex code of one of your corporate colors, like this. Now you can come back to flat icon and paste that hex code in this box. And boom, you've just changed the first color. Repeat that process for all the colors of the icon. If there are more colors in your icon than there is in your palette, it doesn't matter. Just repeat a color or two. This is completely in the sphere of the creative process and is entirely up to you. Once you have swapped all the colors, you can either save that new icon in your collection or you can download it straight away. I'll just go ahead and save it to my collection. So now you can see that there is a new customized icon in our collection. Pretty cool, huh? If you click on these three dots here, you will access some other options for your collection. You can edit your icons separately, duplicate your collection, sort the icons in your collection, or share it with friends, customers, or colleagues. 
And once but not least, once you are happy about your collection and feel like it's time to bring all these icons to life, you can click on the button here to download your collection. This will save you the hassle of downloading your icons one by one. And that's how you use collections. I believe it can really save you a lot of time. Just be aware that if you're not logged in, you can only create one collection of a maximum of 50 icons. If you are logged in but not registered, meaning you're not paying for the premium membership, you will be able to create up to three collections of 50 icons. And if you are a paying member of Flat Icon, you will be able to create an unlimited amount of collections that can contain up to 256 icons. That's it guys, this finishes our course about Flat Icon. I sincerely hope you learned something valuable with us today. We personally use Flat Icons all the time and we wanted to share this powerful design tool with you. I hope you enjoyed our content and see you in the next course.